Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to today's vlog. I started this workout out with 10 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster and then I actually went straight into my core workout. I have really been lacking in my core strength recently and I just haven't been training core consistently to be honest. It's one of those muscle groups and things that I always put at the end of my workout and I always say, oh yeah, like I'll do some and I'll do a few reps or sets and then I kind of just push it off till tomorrow to be totally honest. So my tip if you happen to do that is to put that muscle group at the beginning of your workout. I ended up doing a 20 minute amazing core workout and I felt so good after. I was like, man, I really need to do this more. And if I'm being totally honest, normally I would never do a 20 minute core routine. And now that I did a 20 minute core routine and it felt so good, I wanna do this every time that I train core, which I really want to incorporate. If I'm gonna be realistic, I'm gonna say twice a week for right now, but ideally it would probably be like three times a week. But if you guys struggle to get a certain muscle group in, or you feel like you're always kind of putting something off, try doing it at the beginning of your workout when you're nice and motivated, you're fresh, because then you will 100% get it in. If you do your favorite things first, then chances are you might skip out on that thing that you don't really wanna do. It used to be triceps for me. Triceps were the hardest muscle group, and now I actually really enjoy them because I started working on them. Okay, so I did 10 minutes of cardio. I actually only did 10. I made myself stop after that. And then I did 20 minutes of core, which I am so proud of. Now I'm doing shoulders, so let's get to it. I edit my vlogs while they sleep and it's the cutest thing in the world. They're so sweet. Um, pretty much done with the last vlog. I just need to do one more run through, but I am headed to the Evolve Recovery Center. All right, it is time to get the recovery in. This is the cold plunge, the one and only. I did a full cold plunge review on my YouTube channel, so check out that video if you guys want the details on this. But this is just so incredible for your recovery, muscle soreness, muscle pains, reduces inflammation. It's really amazing for your mental grit and mental toughness as well, because getting yourself to get inside of this cold, freezing tub every day is quite the challenge, but it is so worth it. And I've just had so many amazing benefits from it. And that's why I continue to do it. I need to do some maintenance on it, if I'm being totally honest. Um, it requires maintenance and I was pretty much gone the whole month of June. so. I need to do a little maintenance on it, but we're gonna go ahead and get in. This is how I usually do it. Set the timer for three minutes and 15 seconds. Three minutes and 15 seconds. What's really cool about this sauna is it actually connects to your phone via Bluetooth. So I've chosen a meditation that I'm gonna do. And it's actually a self-love guided meditation. It's 10 minutes long, so I'm gonna throw that on and get to it. I 
meditation was deeply profound. I did not expect that. I'm gonna link it down below in case any of you guys wanna try it out. Good morning. Last night was so difficult. In the middle of the night, the power went off and it got so hot in here and I was just sitting here hot. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to turn the power back on and then I realized I've never known how to turn the power back on here. That's probably something I need to learn. So that's on mommy's list because I felt real independent until that happened and I didn't know what to do. It ended up coming back on because apparently it happened throughout the whole neighborhood. So today, this morning, I'm actually going to meet Kayla Fascio. if you guys know her. She's one of my dearest friends, but we've always lived all over since both moving from California. So I haven't seen her in forever. And today's actually day one of my cut, it's July 1st. I'm doing a four week cut and after that we'll see, but for four weeks, I just wanna push it super, super hard and be able to see the progress I wanna see, feel that motivation from seeing that progress. Cause I feel like previously I would just go a little bit too slow and it's like not motivating at all when you don't see any progress. So I'm kinda gonna do like a hard, quick cut, but first meal of my cut and I'm eating out. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and show you guys what I'm gonna eat and how I eat healthy when I'm in a cut. Cause I don't really, um, I don't cut anything out. I don't like stop eating out completely. I just know what to order, how to order. And I generally go to places where you can make um, any substitution. I'll be doing a physique update and a weight update and all of that probably in the next video because it's I'm late. I long story short, I had no sleep last night. I'm feeling like a zombie right now and I gotta go meet her for breakfast. So my schedule's all out of whack this morning. Normally I would have trained twice already, jujitsu and Muay Thai. Anyways, now you're here there, we'll get it together, guys, and I'll see you at breakfast. You're so sweet. You're so sweet and so cute. While the boys are outside the potty, I had to show you guys my outfit. These are some of the new leggings that are releasing with Alphalete. I'll put the date on the screen. Very cute, very soft. I'll show you guys more later. And then the just the graphic tee, learn, dream, and be more. I love this colorway that they did. Check it out. Check it out. What song is that? I see one of my favorite tales ever. Oh my god, I missed him so much. His name is Berkeley. We're best friends. I don't get Berkeley first. I know, I know. Hi. I just told him about you. I missed you. How are you? Hi. How are you? Oh, I missed you. Glad they made time for me. Of course. Of course. 24 hours. Oh my god, really? Yeah. How are you? All right, so I ordered the triathlete, which is an omelet with mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes, a little fruit cup, and then I got a pancake on the side. Kayla went for the English muffin, and I think that was the little, little, We have a little visitor. And our little friend. <laughs> if mommy says yes, I will sneak you some for food. all the things to drop. He's so, he's so good, though. What a good boy. I love so your cool. car. I love yeah. it. It was honestly the best purchase. Okay, so I'm sitting here getting ready to do a grocery haul for you guys because I feel like I need groceries. And I also told you guys I was gonna do that. But I'm looking through my fridge and my freezer and I actually have like random things here and there that I can make meals with. And recently I've been really aware of excess and living in excess and I don't like doing that. Even with groceries, I like to finish all of my groceries before I get more. And while I don't have my normal type of prep foods and meals in there, I do have like random things that I can pair together for meals and for prep. So prep, but I, sorry, I don't wanna like get you guys too excited. I'm just doing a personal prep. I'm doing like a little cut. I'm not, no show date in mind. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to do that to y'all's hearts. Instead of going to the grocery store, which I definitely could do to get my regular food, I'm going to use the random things that I have here. I have a lot of frozen vegetables, which really aren't my favorite. I'd rather do fresh vegetables. But for now, I am gonna use them for meal prep. Oh, I actually do have one chicken and one beef. I have plenty of groceries. What was I talking about? I actually have some tofu and some tempeh. I've recently been on a boiled egg kick. So I boil the eggs, I just put them in there, and then I pull them out when I feel like eating them, and they're freaking delicious. I already have Chobani yogurt. I have some fresh strawberries. I have eggs. 
sun butter, I have salsa, hummus, almond milk, coffee, the rice cooker, so I'm gonna put some rice on. I'm going to cook up some proteins, throw some vegetables together, and then I'll have some meals, and then I'll have half a banana for smoothies with some ice and protein shakes. Breakfast bread, which is the everything flavor, and it's absolutely delicious. Some protein oats with some oatmeal, and then just one scoop of level one ice cream sandwich, which is seriously my favorite flavor ever. It makes the oatmeal taste like cake batter. I don't really know why I thought I needed groceries. I guess my, my fridge just was empty of like all the fresh stuff that I normally like. Hey Alexa, how in the world do I cook this tofu? First drain the tofu in a paper towel over the sink to get out most of the moisture. Then chop and Alexa, that wasn't that helpful. I'm always interested to hear how I can improve. Try saying, I have feedback. It's cool. She's like down to improve. You just went up in my book, Alexa. Do I chop this? I'm gonna pretend this is not grossing me out. What even is this? Alexa, what is tofu? According to Wikipedia, tofu, also known as bean curd in English, is a food prepared by coagulating soy milk and then pressing the resulting curds into solid white blocks of varying softness. It can be silken, soft, firm, beyond these broad textural categories. I'm stressed. Alexa, what seasoning should I use on the tofu? Season tofu with salt and pepper. Literally, that's your suggestion. Well, you know what? Don't people do liquid aminos on tofu? Still a little. That looks great. Mama, are you okay? Do you need help? Do I need to call the firemen? <laughs> Only if they're hot and single. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey Alexa, how do I cook tempeh? Start by boiling or simmering it for 10 minutes. Thanks, that was really helpful. So maybe this is one of those things where you know how you like see something like clothes on a hanger and you're like, ah, I don't know about it and then you put it on, it looks bomb. Maybe that, that's how these meals are gonna be. <laughs> do you guys see why I get in trouble in my life? I can look at something so horrible and I'm like, it'll be great guys. Or I can look at these flowers and I'm like, there's still some life in them. <sighs> Gets me in trouble a lot in life. Hope you guys are not <sighs> judging my house. I need to do the dishes. I need to take the trash out and all I'm cleaning everything today. But like sometimes that's how my life is to be honest. Usually like once a week, it's a little bit of a shit show. And then I get together and everything is clean and fresh and smells like just freshness and my meals are so beautiful and delicious. But uh, right now it's just kind of like, I'm really hot. <sighs> Why am I so hot? Alexa, is the tofu supposed to be getting more firm or softer as I cook it? Guys, this is not like appetizing in the least bit. It doesn't smell that good either. This tofu looks absolutely disgusting. I have no idea how this is gonna taste, but I have to go to the gym. Yeah, I don't know why people eat this. If you guys have suggestions of how to cook this in a way where it is edible, let me know. Am I judging this before I try it? Should I just, it looks so gross. Hmm. Oh yeah, that actually tastes pretty good. Wow, I'm such a jerk. Oh well, that, it's actually really good. Or am I really hungry right now? I don't know. A mixture of beets, green beans, and colored carrots. And then I just mix them in between all the different meals. So I'll put tofu, chicken, beef, and I'll have a bunch of meals with some rice that is in the rice cooker because if you don't have a rice cooker, what are you doing with your life? It's so easy. Don't worry. Be happy. Simpler, summertime, 2016, when the sky was burning. 